All right, this is a fun one. Tuple to object. This is the first one in the easy set that has a bit of teeth to it. So that's why I like it. And also this concept about kind of remapping tuples to other things is going to come up a lot in future challenges, especially as things get harder. It's a good skill to understand and have a good grasp on. So if we click take the challenge, it's probably easier to just show the example. So we have this tuple here. This is a JavaScript variable, like it's a const. But we're using this as const thing here in TypeScript to tell TypeScript that this is not just a string array. This is an array of very specific values. And we can hover over tuple and see that it tells us read only. And that's the read only comes from the as const part. Um, and then we have Tesla model three, model X, model Y. If we took that away, then it's just going to be string array. Yeah. OK. Then tuple to object creates an object where the keys are those very same things, Tesla, model three, model X, whatever. And the values at each position are exactly the same as the key. So this may seem kind of esoteric, but I promise, like I said, this skill, although it seems uh, kind of pedantic at this particular challenge, this skill of being able to do this kind of thing will come up a lot in future challenges. So anywho, John, how would you, uh, where would you start with something like this? Okay. Well, first of all, I know we're going to need an object. So we can start with an object. And then also we're probably going to need a mapped type here. Um, mm -hmm. Generally what you would have to do in any of these circumstances where you're trying to create an object out of some keys. Um, yep. So I think we want to do something along the lines of, uh, let's see. Uh, so we want to take cool. properties out of uh, T yep. and map it to the type T. Uh, let's see. This is still wrong. So if we look, it's actually making an array. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a, a un or was it? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So the keys of T are are numeric because it's an array. So actually, I don't want keys of T. Um, so if I remove key of, I get this error because T isn't assignable to. Um, oh right, we gotta we gotta handle this symbol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're gonna have to do is tell it that it. It is, in fact, assignable. Um, and With a generic constraint? We yeah, we need to add a generic constraint to the generics that tells it it's a, it has to be compatible with that. Sweet. So, um, so we're going to do extends property key. Oh, cool. And, and that's a, um, it would be like property key array, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. So okay. this is a cool sidebar to tell people this is a thing in the TypeScript standard library that I think a lot of people don't know about. And I say that because I see examples in the type challenges where people type string or number or symbol. Property key is just an alias for string or number or symbol, but it com comes up and is useful a lot because those are the valid types that TypeScript allows for objects. As a geeky aside, uh, numbers are not actually valid in JavaScript or TypeScript as far as that's concerned for the key, the keys of any object. But because they get coerced to strings pretty regularly, I guess, I'm not really sure what the motivation is, but TypeScript allows it, even though it's not really true. Strings or symbols are the only types of keys in JavaScript. There's no other way to get any other thing. If you want more, you need to use the map thing. That When did maps come? Yes. Yes, six. I yes, six. Okay. Yeah, yes, six. Cool. All, All right, right. But anyway, um, we still have a type error here, and, and I believe it's because we need to index in, and we still have a problem here. So let's see what the issue is. So well, we're right close. now, it looks like we're missing read only. Is that right? Oh no, we're having another issue too, which is we're not indexing into prop, but we're also. I think it's just that we need the thing that we need is just prop. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we don't need to index into prop. We actually just want prop itself. That's right. There we go. And we do still need read only though. Um, mm -hmm. We need. We can put it up in the in the yeah in the yeah, constraint. Yeah, exactly. So like this, I believe. There Sweet. we go. Yeah, we did it. Awesome. Um, I looked online for alternatives for this, other ways that people solve this, and the only other alternative, aside from the one I talked about with putting string or number or um, uh, symbol in here, was that you can actually do key of any. And I don't think there's really time. This is kind of a deep topic. In the Michigan TypeScript Discord, we were all talking about this one day when I found this for the first time. Um, key of any is a weird thing, but it makes sense, and some people provided some good explanations for why it makes sense and why it needs to be that. 
but key of any is string or number or symbol is what that equates to. So they're kind of equivalent syntaxes if you want to think of it that way. But take a look at property key. I'd love to see people using property key more. I didn't know about it before doing these challenges and it's pretty useful. So cool. Any other thoughts, John? Not really. Pretty straightforward. Sweet. On to the next one.